G'day guys, how you all doing? I uh, hope you all liked the MICE 22 videos that we posted every day last week. Um, huge week, so much fun, lots of content. There was hours of bloopers that I had to sift through, so I'm sorry if the videos are a little bit all over the place or a little bit sketchy and there's definitely some language in them because I just simply didn't have time to go through and beep everything out because we're a bunch of grubs. Now, this video is a bit of a different one. It's actually brought to you by the Coffee Knock Draw Company, which is a company over in Ireland, if you haven't heard of, they make coffee knock drawers, um, which is essentially a knock box, but better. Now, to my knowledge, this is one of the only products these guys make that is actually coffee related. They are actually an engineering company that saw a need for a product and pounced. Um, and I'm gonna go through a few of the minor details that will really show you how good this product is from an engineering aspect, um, not just usability, looks, etc. So I'm going to get stuck into this as a complete review, 100% honest, because I have nothing to gain or lose by telling you if this product is good or bad. Um, as you can see, I've got it under my grinder here. It is designed to go underneath your grinder or other items. You can probably even go under a smaller coffee machine, La Pavonis and stuff like that which uh, is pretty cool. So I'm gonna get into it, give you a couple of close-ups so you don't have to keep looking at my face, and I'll show you guys some of the features. So this is the product here. This is one of their base models. Um, it is designed for home use this size. It's not massive, you know, you're gonna get you know, 10 or so coffees out of it and then you need to empty it, which is perfectly fine for at home. Um, now comparing to your standard traditional style knockbox, um, it takes up similar sort of volume internally, but bench space is much smarter because obviously you can put things on top of it. Um, the first thing that I noticed about this grinder that I was very impressed with is even though it's metal on metal, it's very quiet, it's a very high-end uh, powder coat finish, and how quiet this thing is. Now I don't know if that gives you any idea on camera how quiet it is, but compared to a traditional, it's, it's hollow and it echoes and it's very loud. So I believe that that comes down to a few factors. Obviously not being a big drum style, this doesn't echo and amplify the sound, but there's also a couple of other features. This little bar is triangle, if you can see on the camera. So it takes less effort to remove the puck because it spreads the load smarter. Um, and also being triangle, it's stronger, and it just literally takes less effort. It's quiet, it's, it's very, very nice to use. Now, there are a couple of little things that if I had to pick on, I could find faults, but nothing major. Um, the first, probably, not issue, but the first thing that I noticed was there is nothing to stop the knock draw from coming out. Now, it's not really a major issue because you're gonna pull it out, use it, push it back in, and you do need to remove the drawer to empty it. Now, if there was a latch there or something to stop it from doing that, I feel like that would add some sound to the knockbox, which I would prefer it to be much, much more like this. I think it's perfect. Now, the only other thing if I had to pick on would be the packaging. Um, not as in the quality of packaging, purely just the picture on there. It just looks a little bit Chinese, but that's really not a big deal. Um, I don't think that matters too much at all. So the product itself is fantastic. I really can't floor it in any major way. And for the price, which I won't delve into because they're different prices all over the world. And strangely enough, majority of our listeners, uh, our viewers are actually from India and I have no idea what their dollar is. So good little product. Um, I really, like I said, I can't fault it genuinely. Um, these little fins on top for breathing so that it doesn't create too much smell inside, but you're not exposed to that typical open, pretty manky smell and looks. Um, probably one of the other really cool things about this product that I've only really noticed recently was cleaning the drawer. Now cleaning a traditional knock box, whether it's plastic, steel, whatever it is, you're always ending up having to scrape out bits of coffee in the base, which is not pleasant. Every barista knows this, it's horrible. Uh, where opposed to this really nice glossy finish, you can literally just put it under the sink, give it a spray and it's gone. There's nothing to wipe, which is really cool, nice and convenient. 
and it keeps everybody else in the house happy because it doesn't stink. So that's about it. Um, there's nothing else to pick on. There's nothing really to pick on. Heaps of colors, heaps of sizes. So I'm going to leave a link to their website down below. Make sure you check them out. Um, and please make sure you give this video a like because I'm going to get a vlog style for a second. Now, I am trying to do something with this channel. Um, I know this isn't for everyone. Not everyone likes me. That's okay. I'm a bit weird. That's fine. I'm a barista. We're supposed to be. But there's a lot of mods coming for the bar as well. So stay tuned for this. There's going to be some lighting and some funky little things happening. But so far, she's looking pretty cool. Uh, this is all thanks to my brother. He's um, done all of this stuff for me. I've uh, put some little leather latches on there, or magnetic clothes. But there are a lot more things to come still. Uh, you will see. There's going to be some things inside his cupboards, both sides. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and I have removed the lights from the machine. When I moved the machine to Melbourne, I had to put it into mobile mode, which means she's uh, metal on top at the moment, but we've still got clear insides. So that will probably be revised, the whole design of the lighting and the clear top, because the material I used wasn't quite strong enough and started to bow from the heat of the machine. No big deal. Um, it still works fantastically. I'm actually just using the water tank still because I haven't had a chance to plumb it back in and I want to do some more mods on the water intake side of things um, and a better filtration system, better control on the flow as well. Um, we were having a couple of little issues with it overpressurizing the machine and just it was dumping it through the valve. So not ideal. That is about it, guys. If you have any questions about the knock drawer, please pop them in the comments. And if there's any questions about any of the other products, that doesn't go there anymore because that can stay. I much prefer that. So any of the products here, um, pretty much everything here we can sell, including these custom bad boys here. We are now Jibby Jug retailers. All your ceramic cups and Pullmans and these scales here from Precision, which also have a temperature probe built in. Pretty funky. Of course, San Remo, awesome machines and grinders awesome awesome products um, there will be another machine arriving very soon as well it's gonna go right there or there I don't know haven't decided yet it's temporary um, and it's related to this guy so if you haven't noticed on Instagram you might not know what I'm talking about but it's a very special machine coming for temporary use before it goes off to its owner so I'm very excited about that part and there's gonna be some insane videos when I get that guy so Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and happy brewing.